Today's project is to cut a hole into where our fuel tank is. There's already one here and I've discovered that there's a little leak down here. So I'm wondering if it's also leaking in the other end of the tank or if it's only here and the only way to figure that out is to cut another hole and log in. So I brought up <coughs> a little hatch here and I'm gonna cut it out with the fine cutter. We'll see how it goes. Since we bought Maggie May, her fuel tank had been leaking a tiny bit. After looking inside the tank, I could see a lot of corrosion had happened in the bottom. The bottom is usually where any water and dirt will sit, and that's probably why after 30 years the tank had started to leak. My thought was to get the tank out and get a new bottom welded in. Spider web in here. Well, it doesn't look like there's any diesel there, so that's good. It doesn't smell like diesel either, so I guess. I think the leak is only in the other end. get the vacuum clean out and clean this up. It looks like today is my lucky day. Because I want to get the tank out so it can be fixed. So first my thought was I needed to cut out all the wood. But actually I removed this leather thing. And I can get all this, the screws up. And it looks like this whole piece of wood that sits on top of the tank, my, I might be able to get it out in one piece, which would be awesome, because then I don't need to build a new piece. So that's what I'm working on right now. Pulled off all the leather. And found more screws in here. Looks like we might be lucky. It's kind of weird in here. There's some fiberglass here. I'm not sure what they what they did here. But I'm gonna see if I can attempt to break this whole piece of wood off in one piece. Here, but it's hard to see it has. Uh, it's a star, but it's completely fucked. 
So I think I'm gonna take a fine cut. I'm just gonna slice down through the wood because this is not no one is gonna see this anyway. You're gonna sit on top of it. Slice all the way down to the wood to where the screw starts and then slice a flat head into it so I can get it with a flat head screwdriver. Um, I got all the screws up, it's loose all the way on the outside, but it seems like it's going in underneath this edge and all the way in and it's glassed into the hole I think, so I marked up <coughs> this line here, I'm gonna cut all the way here and then when I put it back together I'm gonna put a piece of wood underneath this lip, uh, so this, that, that this edge will rest on a lip that I'm gonna put underneath here. There should be space enough for that. So let's get to the next cutting part. she looks. This is the edge that I cut off. So I'm gonna have to mount something underneath here. Shouldn't be a problem. This is interesting. This sticker I couldn't see before. I need to uh, get rid of this right here because the tank you can see it sits underneath this edge so I need all the space that I can pull the tank this way to get it out so I'm gonna try and remove this piece of wood without breaking anything
All right, now I got all the screws up down there. So this wall here is loose. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift out this whole wall and then I can push the tank out like that. It's all loose, all connections are off. And I removed all the thick and epoxy that was glued in, so it should come out now. Yes. Lots of thing in the epoxy used to stabilize it. I guess that's the easiest thing to do. You build a boat. Luckily it looks it looks dry in here, so I'm actually really happy with that. Now so have to figure out how to get this out of this. Oh jeez. After we got the tank out, we drove it across the street and got a new bottom welded in. Since then we've had no leaks.